What's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you how to stay hydrated with the four most delicious summer drinks ever. We tend to drink a lot more during the summer because we sweat, because it's hot, because we're thirsty, because we meet people for a barbecue and drinking soda is not the best. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but sometimes drinking plain old water is kind of boring, especially if you're inviting people over and all you have non-alcoholic is water. It's pretty, pretty boring. So today I'm going to teach you how to make four absolutely amazing summer drinks that will make everybody happy from kids to adults. So we're starting off with lemon infused water. It's the simplest thing you can imagine. All you do is you cut lemons in thin slices and remove the seeds. I recommend being very thorough removing the seeds so the water doesn't become bitter because the, the seeds are pretty, pretty bitter. Add all those lemon slices to a pitcher and uh, top it with water. You want to use about two lemons for four cups of water. Now go ahead and refrigerate it all for anywhere from one to four hours. And then after maximum four hours, I recommend removing all the lemon slices because if you leave them in for too long, your water again becomes bitter instead of having this super delicious and refreshing lemony flavor in the water, you will become, you will get very, very bitter water. So after maximum four hours, remove the lemon slices. You can always add some more. Or what I like to do is I like to freeze lemon slices into ice cubes and then serve the lemon infused water over these lemon ice cubes, put in a sprig of mint. So it looks absolutely beautiful and enjoy. So the second summer drink I am introducing to you today is a typically Mexican drink. It's called Agua de Jamaica and it essentially is sweetened ice cold hibiscus tea. This is something you will get in any Mexican restaurant or at any party really. So all you have to do is bring four cups of water to a rolling boil and then you're going to add anywhere from three quarters to one cup of hibiscus flowers to the boiling water and about a third of a cup of sweetener. I am using a raw sugar, but any sweetener is fine. Anything that you like. I think the most important here is to add in moderation and it doesn't really matter what kind of sweetener you use. Now let this boil for anywhere from two to four minutes and then uh, go ahead and put on the lid and let it steam for another 10 minutes, turning off the heat. Make sure the heat is turned off and let it steam for 10 minutes. And then to be able to serve it cold right away, I recommend pouring it into ice cold water filled with ice cubes and then pour it over ice again in your glass. I love to freeze little hibiscus flowers into my ice cubes so it looks really pretty. Serve and enjoy. So the third drink that I'm introducing to you is another Mexican drink, another typical Mexican drink that you will get at any Mexican restaurant and it's called Agua de Horchata and what it is is basically rice milk, ice cold sweetened rice milk. So for this you're going to add one cup of jasmine rice to a blender. Now here it's important to know that you should look at the packaging of your rice if it needs to be rinsed or not. Mine is already ready to use so I didn't have to rinse it. I'm adding one cup of jasmine rice to my high speed blender, four cups of water and then you're going to want to blend it for anywhere from three to five minutes depending on the strength of your blender until it's very very smooth and like the, the rice, um, what's it called? The rice kernels? Kernels? No. The rice, oh well, you know what I mean. So until the little rice thingies are not complete anymore, but rather like flour. And this you're going to want to let sit for anywhere from one to two hours so all the rice can release its milk, I guess. And then you're going to want to add one cup of milk. Any milk is fine. I use cow's milk, but you can use another plant milk or you can also add just another cup of water. Uh, sweetener of choice again whichever one you like for this specific drink I love adding maple syrup and I add a third of a cup of maple syrup for my drink and 
then you're going to want to add some vanilla. I add a tablespoon of vanilla and some cinnamon. I add a teaspoon of cinnamon. You give it a quick uh, blend again to make sure everything's mixed. And then the most important part is that you strain this. You can't drink it just like that. Remember, there's raw rice in there. So you're going to want to make sure you strain it. You have two options here. You can either use a sieve and line it with cheesecloth. The sieve alone won't be enough. So you're going to have to line it with cheesecloth. Or what I feel is much easier is I use a nut milk bag. I add it right into the pitcher. I pour the whole um, like rice milk into there and then I press it all out until all the liquid is out and only the rice pulp is inside the nut milk bag. But again, I mean, the cheesecloth uh, works just fine. And you're going to want to serve this over ice again to make sure that everything's cold and enjoy. And lastly, we have a pink mint lemonade, which is totally delicious. And for this, you're going to want to add tons and tons of ice cubes, four cups of water, and like a bunch of mint into a pitcher. And then you're going to go ahead and take um, like a jar or anything you can fit your uh, immersion blender in. You're going to add a quarter cup of raspberries, fresh raspberries, two lemons uh, into the jar, sweetener of choice if you want. Uh, I like to add a little bit, like a little squirt of honey but any other sweetener works or no sweetener at all works fine as well. And then you're going to use your immersion blender to blend it all well. And then you strain it through a sieve again into your ice cold water uh, to get this pink colored lemonade and serve it again over ice cubes. In this case, I froze some raspberries, some fresh raspberries into the ice cubes because I think it looks really, really pretty. I add a little sprig of mint to the glass and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed these summer drink suggestions. I really, really like all four of them. I don't have a favorite, I cannot decide. I actually love making just small batches of all four of them when I have guests over so they can choose whichever drink they want. And I hope you're gonna give one or all four of them a try. If you do, please don't forget to snap a picture, post it on Instagram and tag me. I wanna see it, I wanna know how you liked it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss more recipes like this or like drink suggestions like this. And I'll see you with my next video. Bye.